Hey everyone out there in listener land, this is Melissa Bryan, the one, only, and original Outlaw Psychic from Outlaw Life Psychic Enterprises in Happy Camp, California. How y'all doing today? And I got another show for you. Yeah, you know, back to the same bullshit, different day. <clears throat> this has been truly an insightful month. Um, I'll be returning the last of the ex-friends things to them uh, probably in the next day or two. And it has been extremely productive. I got a lot done yesterday. Took care of the household and my business too. Um, I'm on a rodeo roll and ready for all rodeos this year. Ah, sorry, my... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, allergies are acting up a little bit. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, good luck to all competitors. And, um, we went to Etna Rodeo. Yeah, they have some issues, shall we say. Um, not good ones, apparently. In fact, let me spell it out here. Find the post where I made that. Uh, Let me see here. I know it's here. I'll just have to find it. Hang on just a second. All right, here we go. You know, I get it. If something works and really works well in event productions, Aetna, California Rodeo, not one of them, sorry. You know, <clears throat> they need to come into the modern era. They have several issues, and it's only, of course, my opinion. This has nothing to do with anyone or anything else. Uh, They need modern grandstands. What they have now is really not working for those of us like me. Who are not 100% sure-footed. Let's just say this is like a secondary issue. But the main issue they really need to deal with very badly. Is modern restroom facilities. Not Porta Johns with no hand washing facilities. Guys, this is a health disaster that really needs to be looked into. Uh, Hang on. Sorry. Probably my cat's getting into stuff. I have to get up and figure out what the hell's going on over here. What the heck? shit going on, but I'm not, I'm not seeing anything. What the hell? out there. Oh, it's the tree trimming people. Okay, now I know what I'm hearing. Alright. Never mind. Sorry about that. Put that there here. And get back to where I was at. (laughs) Okay. Anyway. Yeah. They need a modern restroom facility. Yes, they do. Very badly. They need to make it a first and total priority. This needs to be fixed. You know, I'm really surprised California State Health Department allowed them to put on their event without the proper sanitation facilities, you know? Yeah. They also have to run their events all together, their arena events. Um, Not split them up in sections, not take forever and a day to do stuff. You know, I know it takes time to put stuff on, but... This really needs to be fixed. 
They also need modern scoreboards and timing equipment. It'll update their scoring system, bring them into the modern era. Uh, They need to allow the music to play all the way through on songs. It drives me nuts when they don't. They also need more vendors. Vendors bring in crowds and draw interest to their event. Yeah. Specialty acts, specialty acts, specialty acts. In arena entertainment is vital to a successful rodeo event, and I don't care how small it is, it really needs to be done. I mean, the crowds are just stiff. They also need modern in facility guest Wi Fi because their arena area. Their facility eats camera and cell phone batteries. Killed mine dead. Way too high of EMF. Way too low of, you know, quality. Yeah. So that's what I've got to say about that. Um, okay, I got my headshots nailed down. Uh, date and time. Um... I've got everything ready to put out my own self-made flyers and print them off on my own printer. And, of course, the stalker's back and harassing me mercilessly. And so what that causes is for me to be a shut-in, shut-down, shut-up, shut-away hermit prisoner in my own home. I will have to flip my sleep schedule from night to day. I'm starting to have horrible nightmares, terrifying ones. It is starting to seriously affect my sleep and where I'm afraid to really sleep anymore. And so here's the real truth over, above, and against all the lies told against me. Okay, so to truth down what was said against me, I do not acknowledge the Buttercup McFussy face thing. No, there is no one by that name. Sorry, wrong person. At 6.29 p.m. last night, Pacific Time, I was relaxing watching YouTube videos and minding my own business. I did not, will not, could not, do not email myself to or from. That was not me doing that. Sorry, it was not. I don't have the time for it. I don't even make the time for it. I was not speaking with or communicating with anyone or anything at any time. Okay? I was not. No. I was too busy handling my household and my business and my shit. Okay? Um... Yes, asswipe, you are terrified of me. Prove you're not by bringing a gunfight to my face, to my door. You know where I live. Come get me. No, there are no fans. None. I am not a big enough person. Okay. I'm not a big enough person to have fans. Okay. I'm not. Nobody even knows that I exist, and that's the truth. Why is it that only stalkers and haters know that I exist? Why is that? See, I'm not a big enough person for anyone to even know I exist. There is no we, anyone, just 
obsessed Trent Clarno, everyone. We know this from experience, so, you know, yep, that's what it is. No, asswipe, you do not love me. You love the sound of your own gums flapping, and that's just truth. No, my tarot readers are not vague anything. They are prominent everything. And I have at least maybe a couple of dozen tarot reader channels I frequent. One just happened to nail your ass, so there you go. Um, no, I don't ever find scammers funny anything. That is you, Trent, everything. And you're hilarious, by the way, because you're so stupid. You're so stupid. I hate you. I really do. I hate you, and that's the truth. I do. I am not a scammer anything. Nope, sorry, refused. Nope, back at you. Back at you. That's you, not me. Never ever me. Not me, you. Not me, you. Not me, you. Not me, you. All you. You, 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 you. Never ever me. You, 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 you. Never ever me. I'm pointing all fingers of blame and shame right back at you, Trent. You're just projecting your crap onto me so you can stop now. No laughter at, above, or against me anything. That is not allowed everything. Sorry, I refuse it. Nope, back at you, back at you, back, back, back at you. Mm-hmm. Um, no, horses look at me because uh, they want cookies, love, and attention. And I have plenty of it to go around for them. No, I refuse all dental work. I'll just wear a bag over my head or a mask over my face. It doesn't matter anymore. I won't show anyone who I really am. No, see, you want me to be fake. And I refuse to be fake. So, you know, there you go. Mm. Get used to it. I'm not fake. You are. Not me, you. Not me, you. Not me, you. You, you, you. All you. Never, ever me. All you. Never, ever me. Nope, I refuse. I will not be fake. Nope. I just won't do any more videos showing my face. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. So I erased it, uh, got rid of it, and now there are no videos with my face. Uh, you know, be happy with it. Yeah. Be happy with my face never ever showing for any reason under any circumstance. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Pardon me, my allergies are acting up. Ugh, I have to take some Claritin or something. Anyway, um, yeah. My business, though, is on a roll. Yes, it is. Truth. Total truth, in fact. Um, let me see. What is going on with that here? Let me find what I'd said about it. Oh, and you know, I'm fully aware of how butt-ass ugly I am. I fucking don't need it pointed out to me continually. So, I will stay locked up a prisoner in my own home from now on. Yeah, true. Um, oh, and about Etna Rodeo, the things I did appreciate was the food I had... A chicken and rice burrito with beans and cheese, which I really, really liked. It was absolutely massive, but more than I could eat by myself, but it was really good. Um, the kettle corn, everyone was bragging about it. It was absolutely outstanding. Ours was fresh out of the kettle and we still have some left over. It's so good. Hey, babe. Welcome home. My hubby just got home, so yeah. Uh, my Vistaprint stuff should arrive on or by the 6th. 
and um, everything's coming together, and I'll be making my own flyers. In June, I'm going to get my Museum, Historical, and Genealogical Societies, my last pendulum and supplies for that, brochures and inserts, July banners, August lights, two double tents, and maybe a business credit card if I'm lucky. Mm, yeah. My printer, my printer ink arrived yesterday, so I'm really happy about that. I've got the flyer on doc file. I've got the paper. Now I'm just waiting on my laptop, and that should be back tonight. Yay! And I should be good to go once I get that back. So that's pretty much where we stand. Oh, and the bills are paid. And the rest, except for a couple things, is auto-debit. Yay! So, that's what's going on here. And uh, I will talk at y'all later. I've got to get moving. I've got a grocery list I've got to make. And I've got things to get ready to go for today. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.